welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I am Sunil Pirwani and today we will be doing the chapter called as data interpretation. Let's see the next question guys. They said that the following graph shows the number of students in different disciplines in a college. Total number is 1800 and this is for 2007 and 2008. Which set of disciplines shows a decrease in the number of students from 2007 to 2008? Now if you look at the option they have given you practically all the sets. So what we will do is right in the beginning if we calculate all the sets we will be able to do the entire sum very easily. Right? Uh, let's see this. This is question number 125. Discipline A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Let's first check the 2007 data. Right? They have given it to you in terms of percentage. Right? Uh, let's start with A. A is 10 percent. 10 percent means 10 percent of the total. Total is 1800 students in 2007. They have said that total there are 1800 students in 2007. 10 percent of that is going to be 180. Right? Then uh, B is 15 percent of 1800. 270. 270. C is 12% 216 216 B is 25% 450 450 E is 8% 144 F is 15% 270 G is 6 percent 108 and F is no H is 9 percent 162 right that was data for 2007 let's see for 2008 uh, in 2008 guys see they specifically said that there are total 2000 students right so A is 13%. 260. 260. Yes. Next, 13% again. 260. Then you have 10%. That's 200. And then you have 19%. 380. Then you have 8%. 160. Then you have 13%. 260. Then you have 9%. 180. Now, let's get back to the question. Which set of disciplines show a decrease in the number of students? Now, see, A has gone from 180 to 260, so it has not shown a decrease. B has shown a decrease. I'll put an asterisk mark on it because it has gone from 270 to 260. C has shown a decrease because it has gone from 216 to 200. And 200. D has not shown a decrease. E has not shown a decrease. D 450 to 380. Yes, sorry. E 144 to 160 increase. 270 to 260 decrease. 108 to 180 increase. 162 to 300 increase. That means I have B, C, D, and F. Right? B, B C, D. Yeah, the answer is B, D. Right? That is the group that has shown a decrease. Next. Answer 126. They are saying that if the total number of increased students for the discipline in which the number of students has increased. What is the total number of increased students for the disciplines in which they have increased? Now in A, the increase is 260 minus 180. In B, no. In E, the increase is 160 minus 144 
in G the increase is 180 minus 108 and in H the increase is 300 minus 162 right so this is 60 70 80, 80 16 this is 16 70. 72 uh -huh. and 8 7 3 138 yes right so this is 1 150 152 162 168 268 296 306 Right? So the answer is B for this. This is the number of increased students in the discipline in which they have increased. Answer 127. Right? Find the percentage decrease in the number of students in B and F. Right? B and F. Percentage decrease. B has decreased by 10 from 270 to 260. Right? B and second group they are saying is F. F has also decreased by 10, right? So in both the cases, the decrease is going to be 10. In B, in 2007, you had 270 students. In F, also you had 270 students, right? So this should come to, so please work this out. 20 upon 45, 540 into 100. 3.7. Yes, 3.7%. So close this answer they give me, they gave me 3, answer will be A. Answer 128. Find the maximum possible difference of the number of students in any two disciplines taken together for a given year. Right? Now, the two disciplines having highest number of students in 2008 is 1 is 300 and 1 is 380 these are the two disciplines having highest number of students in 2008 they said any two discipline right and uh, simultaneously the two disciplines having the lowest number of students in 2007 lowest 108 and 144 yeah. 108 and 144 right uh, so you have if I select this that means 108 and 144 highest is 380 and 300 right so this is going to be 380 plus 300 is the highest lowest is 108 plus 144 why am i doing this guys specifically maximum possible difference you will have maximum possible difference obviously when you take the difference between the highest and the lowest uh, between the number of students in any two discipline taken together you have to take two classes together that is the reason why i'm adding two numbers so this is going to be 680 minus 152 252 yeah some of these healthy calculations. 428. 428. 428. Right? The closest answer to that is 430. So answer is going to be A. Right? Answer 129. What are the difference between the number of students of D in the two years and the angular value of the same discipline in the two years? Right? Difference of D. We have already calculated. In 2007 it was 450, in 2008 it was 380. So 70 is the difference between them. Now, what is the angular value? Right? In the uh, angular value in 2007. In 2007 D was 450. Total there were 1800 students. When you want to find angular value, you have to multiply by 360. That's the rule to find angular value. Some of these help me get this. 90. 90 degrees. Okay. And uh, this is uh, 380 divided by 2000 into 360. 380 were the number of students. Total number of students were 2000 into 360. Some of these help 68.4. 68.4. Right? So what is the angular difference? 
subtract the 2.69 21.6 21 21 so 70 degree and 21.6 answer is D where the difference is uh, number of students is 70 degree and the angular difference is 21.6 degrees here yeah. where is the answer D okay this finishes the sum please stop this here for the day thank you very much